So here's your drift trike update. There's the uh, there's the boss there. Old Miss Miss Underfoot. Old Miss Underfoot. So I got the tank done. Uh, I don't know. I got that peacock on there just temporarily, but I got the tank done. Managed to salvage me a caliper and a handbrake. Unfortunately, it's a uh, right-hand side handbrake, and we got a twist twist throttle with a Makuni carb off of the same bike I got the disc brake from, but the uh, throttle cable is about three, four feet too short. So that's what we got. So as of right now, I got a combobble. Something here. I got a kombuble. The I got to make an exhaust for it somehow. I made the intake there. It's a little hideous, but it's on there. Have to make it to fit that Makuni. Uh, bores all match up and everything. It's a little sloppy, but it works. At this point, I just need to get this thing done and out of here and move on to the next uh, the next victim. These are the pegs I got hooked up. So I got the peg system set up. This underfoot over here is trying to play on the ramp. And I'm welded up underneath. I notched the frame out up underneath there. So it's like half under, you know, it's like half built into the frame and half, you know, welded. The actual setup is, is pretty cool, I think. It, uh, you know, once I bolt everything up, you know, I'm working on a, a a build, something somebody else built. Uh, I got somebody up in New York, traded him one of my bikes and some cash for it. And, uh, you know, cash on his end, I, I really didn't want the thing. Came with bicycle forks on it, a bicycle front wheel, and, uh, you know, bicycle disc brake in the front, and a, a tractor seat was on it, like a regular fucking... Uh, you know, craft, craftsman tractor seat. Uh, I have pictures of it from before, but you know, so I took the gas tank off and all the carburetor and did all that shit. I'm gonna have to make an exhaust. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Tighten the chain up, obviously. I mean, it's not a bad rig, you know. I got these forks off of a, uh, off of something or other, I have no idea. Um, I took the springs out. Cause there was just no way to, to get the bike to the height that I wanted uh, and have it actually sit right and ride right. So it's gonna be rigid and just look like it has suspension. Miss Underfoot's dying to ride it. <clears throat> just wanted to give a little a little looky loo for the copycats, you know. Maybe somebody gives them a give them an idea. I was gonna cut those tabs off of the block. But I decided to uh, put a little back piece on there. This brass here is just set up just so I could, I had something that I could, you know, tighten the water with when I, when I flush the tank out. Make sure it's all right. These little sloppy weld with a flux core MIG and, uh, you know, the tank burning through, you know. I got a TIG, but it's not set up. It's set up for plasma right now, so. You know, they got like three different welders in the shop here and I keep using the one that, that I fucking bought that's like 20 years old because I don't know why, but anyway, that's where we're at with that. The Samurai, the Samurai, uh, for those of you that have been paying attention, I got the, uh, the wheels and tires that I came with the wheels were, were undercover dry rotted. You know, they were, must have been in somebody's backyard for 10 years, and I threw them on there, and they dry rotted to the shit. They all cracked apart in fucking, like, three days. Um, so I had to break the bank and get these. I made the bumper so I could pull the trailer. Well, the hitch on there, came, you know, the bumper comes out. I got to build the cap yet, but you can see, you know, I put a 4x4 four four piece of square stock in there, and then I got this class 3 hitch on it. I got a lot of shit I got to fix on, a lot of rot, but you'll see what I'm going to do with the rot later. I got a windshield for it yet. I got a header yet, full stainless exhaust. Uh, 
you know, some other shit. I don't know. I did the over axle, if you guys were paying attention. Uh, I kept the stock springs. I just relocated the, uh, the shock mounts. Um, it basically set it up so it has more drop. Um, you know, she got more flex. I kept the stock springs on it and just relocated the shocks. Uh, not not much though. I didn't relocate them much because I wanted to keep I want to keep that drop. So you know it'll bottom out hard if I'm you know broncoing her, but if I'm just crawling over something, she should have a ton of flex. And in case you guys don't have the keen eye, there's no sway bar on the front of that samurai no more. I actually used the sway bar to make this for these pegs because I'm cheap shit and I don't want to use any of this any of the good stock I got for just something I'm slapping together but I mean it works out it looks a lot better I mean you know whoever had it had used I mean they, they didn't do a bad job I mean they made the rear and bent the rear and did the pillow blocks and all that shit but they used the exhaust clamps I mean they, they you know when you're building you're building you know what I mean I'm not dogging but to do my my setup on here, I, uh, I got a piece of uh, sort of like springy steel underneath the seat. So it's got a little bit of give. I got it hanging up a little bit. So, so you're hanging off the back, so you get a little bit of give. But the way I had to mount it right there, his old seat mount was in the way. And I just don't want to have to deal with cutting it out of there. You know, it's just, I don't know. Maybe I was thinking about maybe putting a uh, handbrake on there for the rear, or uh, I don't know, who the fuck knows. But I gotta cap those yet. I have two caps for those that'll fit. When I got the, when I bought the frame from the kid with the forks on it, he had already taken the caps out, and there's nothing but, nothing but the spring sticking out of the top. So, I mean, this thing is just, you know, it's a dust sled, it's built, it's built with scraps, and uh, you know, obviously, I put the bar on there so I could fit the gas tank the way I wanted because it had the stock, you know, it had the stock tank on the motor. And, uh, you know, we don't do stock here. So, well, we try not to anyway. But that's it. I've got the bender, you know, I used the bender actually. I used the bender to bend that, believe it or not. I bent the lip on it with a, with a half a makeshift brake that, uh, I don't know where the hell that is now, but I don't know, guys. It's awfully lonely when I have six subscribers on YouTube. It's almost like I'm making these videos for nobody. I got tons and tons and tons and tons and hours of videos that I haven't put up yet. Um, a lot of it's all got to be edited. It's all the beginning, you know, of the... Uh, spring and, and summer you know trying to put this place together and uh you know hiring people and, and and people not showing up and you know giving up on that and trying to learn how to do all this computing shit uh with the patreon i mean look at it this I, I'm, I'm downloading the video and the fucking things take I, i'm cutting I'm, I'm editing a video and I'm, I'm cutting 30 minutes out of the video into a like five minute clip and it's taking fucking four hours to do. I don't understand it's like that's where I'm at with this so in other words instead of building and doing what I'm supposed to be doing I'm fucking the computer guy now I mean I can't build and do I got so many projects in this place I want to get to and it's just so frustrating not being able to get to them and uh you know, even now, I gotta be the one, I gotta be the one recording too. So it's like, you know, I gotta record and, you know, it's just killing me here. But anyway, that's a f backed up view of the jacked up drift. Uh, guy in my neighborhood um, has some, uh, whatchamacallits, damn, I can't think of what they're called now, but anyway. I'm thinking about putting these on there, maybe. Um, you know, uh, not, you know, uh, doing the swap. You know, the day we take it out and do the video of the ride, you know, the original, the initial ride for it, what I want to do is take it out and do some drift. 
maybe get some clips of uh, you know those tires in the grass because they're they're pretty beat up and one of them has a plug in it and shit so I really don't want to go trying to slide it around you know in there the way it is but I'm gonna change the valve springs in there and see if I can't get a little more power but I really would like to throw those on there and let somebody try and take a rip in the woods with it or you know in the dirt anyway I got this 13 horse over here just hanging up I almost want to try it out on that. I think that thing might be a monster with it on there if I get torque converter on it. But that's a whole nother story, whole nother video. But uh, that's pretty much it. There's another thing going on. There's the there's the part where there's part of the parts. There's the, the gaskets. And there's the stainless steel header hiding over here, getting buried. My windshield's back there in a box. The muffler's back there. Pipes are back there. But uh, here, I'll give you a quick walk around of uh, some shits that got, uh, you know, locals, locals, all this shit's always for sale, or I'm building it, or I'm building it for you. I can't sell the black bike right here with the, with the Viking on the front, I can't sell that one, and I can't sell the red and blue one. This one's not done yet, that one's gonna be a hybrid BMX uh, three-wheeler downhill combobulation. I got some OCC choppers. I got another couple of bikes I want to turn into how I'm doing this one. You just can see it. You know, I'm trying to make it look like that old 1919 Harley. But, uh, that's where we're at. You know, it was like a four inch, four inch lift on the Samurai. Got some scooters. Got this badass Harley here. A lot of people want this bike. I have high uh, hopes for this bike. I, uh, I really want to turn it into a three-wheeler. I actually have pictures of it as a three-wheeler. The thing is awesome. And we got some of this stuff over here to fix and uh, sell and get ready. Oh, wait, look, look, look. It's nature. Let's watch nature take its course. Watch, she's going to run away like it's going to get her. Look, 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 look what she does. Look, 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 look. God damn. Does that every time. I think she thinks it's going to get her or something. Fucking weirdo, right? So anyway, and I got these tractors here. The green one got a pulley swap. I know I probably said that already. The red one got a pulley swap. The green one's real quick. It's, it's a little dangerous. I'm going to have to drop that down a little bit. But this one, I want to get some big old chumpies on it and uh, see what I can do. But I've been thinking a lot lately about this hole in this fence, right? So if I come over here and look through this hole in the fence, there's nothing but woods back there for a little while. A lot of garbage I'll have to clean up. But this woods, I'll tell you what, that looks like we can build a pretty decent trail back there. That goes down, and if I can get back far enough to where the people's property on the other side there I don't see us, we could have a real big uh, fun, it's like a half a mud puddly stream back there. Oh, here she is inspecting the goods. Oh shit, where is it? I don't wanna step in it. I don't wanna step in it. Bell. Oh, there it is, right there. Look, nature. Nature, isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing? Bell, you all right? Did that, you all right? Let me get that for you. Let me take care of that so it doesn't attack you. Holy shit, Bell. All right, goodbye. Have a good time. Please uh, try and share or subscribe or do something, because I'll tell you what. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do, and I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'll tell you what. If I find out you guys are watching my videos and subscribing, I'm going to put this bag of shit on your doorstep. How about that?